This video is brought to you by TS4U IT Engineering Bootcamp. Are you looking for an IT bootcamp? In your journey with TS4U, you will get workshops and tasks every week. Hands-on practice, technical tests and tasks, show and tell, mock interview. And we get paid fully only when you get a job. You can get affordable student loan. Become eligible for free tuition. We offer industry demanding IT boot camps. Join now and start your IT engineering journey today with TS4U. How can you securely configure internet access for VPC resources using internet gateways? and net gateways. Okay, so um, in our case, so what we do have a lot of VPCs, okay? So each of our team actually requires a VPC on their own and they always do uh, dummy deployments like dev deployments and staging deployments. And then let's say they need to try out some uh, new deployments. So they actually launch new VPCs all the time. So since VPC, as we know, stands for the virtual private cloud, right? So that VPC is isolated from the public internet. So that is basically our own uh, data center, right? So all the development uh, deployments or all the dummy deployments actually happen on a new VPC so that it doesn't uh, like hamper any existing deployments. So since this is pretty much isolated, right? So uh, one caveat we actually get from that is the VPC is so much isolated that it cannot reach to the internet, okay? Since we have uh, to access the services which we have inside the VPC, we actually can't. We cannot reach the internal applications, even the internal applications from our browser, even though we have the VPN connected. Why? Because uh, the VPC is actually isolated. So uh, in order to access those things, we actually make use of the internet gateway. And so what we do is we create an internet gateway and attach it with the VPC so that we can actually get access from the outside through like to that specific VPC. So we connect that internet gateway and that internet gateway enables public internet access to our VPC. But on the other hand, if we enable all the subnets with the internet gateway, our entire VPC will be exposed, right? And we don't want to have that. So for those reasons, we only have certain subnets that we attach with the internet gateway. Okay, so that those uh, subnets and uh, the services that we have inside those subnets, only those are actually exposed uh, on the internet and we can access them on the browser. And on the other hand, those services that we don't need to have access directly, let's say our backend and the databases, we actually keep them separately on a private uh, subnet, right? So for those reasons, uh, we have our private subnets and we have our intra subnets as well. So the subnets that we have private, so we don't have internet access there initially. So what happens that even though we can access all those instances with the help of our bastion host, we actually aren't able to, let's say, update the instance. We cannot patch the software updates. We cannot download our database configurations. We cannot download even our database application, okay? So for those reasons, we actually need to make use of the NAT gateways because NAT gateway actually enables internet for the private subnets. All right, how uh, Net Gateway is kind of different from the uh, IGW, that is the Internet Gateway, because Internet Gateway enables duplex connections. Okay, so uh, it can traffic can go out, traffic can go in from both the sides. But in case of Net Gateway, you actually have an option to enable one-way internet connectivity, okay? So that data can go out, but from the outside, you cannot access 
the instances that is running inside the private subnet okay so with that we can install all the software updates we can install all the patches we can install newer applications and configurations from the internet without any worry so this is how the net gateways actually helps us secure our environment and uh, we can still keep our uh, instances uh, safe from the outside attacks like the ddos attacks and the uh, like uh, the uh, edX that uh, actually has the brute force kind of edX, so we can um, like be safe from all of those since we don't have direct uh, or we didn't expose them directly on the internet.